Bon, on est de retour sur vacarme.net, donc euh, on est avec un invité spécial, le père de Get Right, de Get right Hans Alessoun. So, hello Hans, how hello. are you? Well, so far so good. I've just been watching the quarterfinal and it's, it's really, really nervous and, and take a lot, a lot of effort from your heart, etc. etc. So, but it was half an hour ago, but it was really, really nice to see them take the a win that, that game. So we can watch him again tomorrow. I'm going to start with the basic question. Are you proud of your son about his, uh, his career? Of course, of course. But uh, I'm proud. I have four, four children and I'm proud of all of them. It's, uh, we have raised them in the meaning that they can do it, whatever they want to do uh, as long as it's, so to say, okay. I don't want them to be any, well, criminal. I don't want to, them to make any, any, any bad things, etc., etc. So, uh, so uh, we have tried to raise them in, in, in the way that they, what they want to be and what, what they want to do. So I'm proud of all of my four kids, but of course, uh, the sort of pub public part for Christophers make it really, really special. Yeah. But of course, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of, really proud of him. About his pro career, um, what was your reaction first uh, when he told you that you wanted to be a professional gamer? Well. From the beginning, he, he, he and all of my other kids has been uh, try to do uh, a lot of things, as every, every kid do. They play football, they play in Sweden, they play ice hockey, they go skiing and skating and playing guitar and playing piano. And, and he was raised during the 90s. He's, he's, uh, he's born in 1990. And one of the already then natural part for a kid is to play on the computer, computer gaming. That was already at that time a part of their hobbies, so to say. So he played games, he, uh, computer games, from, from more or less the beginning. He was more or less three, four years old when he started. And that was rather unique during the 90s. But to answer your question, I remember the day very clear. It was when he was, uh, he was 16 years old. Uh, he was playing uh, Counter-Strike already then in different clans or teams. And uh, we were traveling around in, in the Stockholm area and even farther, uh, further uh, distances. And suddenly he said to me, hey dad, take a look on this contract. I got it from my manager, he said. What? What did you say? And it was a uh, very simple, easy, so to say, uh, contract proposal that he should play for this and team and that blah blah and get some kind of, of payment for it. Not any money, it was traveling, it was computer, etc. etc. So it, it started already when he was 15, 16 years ago, old, this sort of say professional career. And then when he became uh, 17, he was, uh, he was uh, invited or asked for to play for Fnatic. And that was, uh, now it was in real, so to say. It was traveling all around the world. And for a big team at that time, Fnatic was the number one team. And uh, well, what shall you say to your kid? If you have a kid that plays football or soccer, that, hey, I got a proposal, a contract proposal from Real Madrid. So you say no, so <laughs> of course we supported him all the way. And the rest is history. He played for Fnatic and already in 2010 he was uh, ranked number one in Counter-Strike in the world. And he's been that four or five times since then. So, so it, it, it was a smooth and very, and very simple, so to say, question for me and my, my wife to let him play as a professional e -g gamer. So uh, I'm very proud and, and I, I have also taken care of this administrative part. I've taken care of the contract since then, since day one. So we have the mixture. We divided the work between him and me. He play and I take the contract part. So he will focus on the, on the, on the, on the play and the gaming instead of the administrative part. So that's how it all started. Um, in, in spite of this contract, um, where are you encouraging him to, to continue his, his studies, to have well, a, a diploma? No, that was, that was a, 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 a decision to make. He was uh, in the first degree in high school, 
and it was three years, uh, and this was just during the, the, the second year. He, he has finished the first year, and during the, la on the second year, he was asked, to, hey, I want uh, Fnatic want uh, uh, him to play for them. And so he, he ha have a pause, he has stopped this uh, uh, high school degree since then, so he has a half high school degree. And that was an open, once again, it's an open decision we made together with him. Hey, you got this chance. Shall you say we say, say no and you should go to school instead? But we all agree that yes, we, we go for the, for the e-sport instead. Now, that was not an easy decision to make, of course. If, you, if your son failed to, uh, with, the, with his professional career, if he can, can't make it a living, what do you think uh, he would have done? I think it's two answers on that. Uh, for uh, say four, five, six years ago, before he was so established, his plan was to uh, to uh, make food. He'd be a cook, perhaps in the restaurant uh, uh, part or something like that. He's always been interested in that. But now, since the career has been so, so to say, focused on eSport, I think he will stay in the eSport community after his playing career in some other, so to say, uh, position. I really don't know what, but uh, there are a lot of, so to say, new opportunities in the eSport community. So I'm pretty sure that he will stay in the eSport after we have, or he, uh, together with me, has seen uh, some, already some, some proposals for that. Um, you personally, do you have ever played Counter Strike or another <laughs> online game? I, uh, to be honest, I, I, I can say more or less no. <laughs> I, of course, I tried on the computers, on the so to say simple games that uh, delivered together with the Windows, etc. But I'm too too slow and too not so handsome with the keyboard. So, so I, uh, to be honest, I have never played the Counter Strike more than a few seconds or minutes or something like that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm too too bad for that. How, how do you call him in private? Uh, do you ever call him uh, by his uh, nickname? No, <laughs> no. I, I, his name is Christopher, and as I told you, we have four kids, and he's the youngest one. And when we came home with a little baby. In 1990, when he was born, his older brother, who at that time was uh, two years old, it was too difficult to pronounce Christopher for a two-year-old uh, person. So, it, but he tried, and he said something that very close to Totte. So, we, since then, we have called him Totte. So, a lot of people also knows him like Totte, not Christopher, or get right. So all, all, in his, uh, all his friends in school, etc., call him Totte. So if you, if you ask, hey Totte, how are you? He will probably, hey, who asked? <laughs> so it's very common. Um, I think this... this and, and Totte is very, very common or often used as a short name for Christopher in Sweden. So it's, it's not so, so, so to say... Uh, difficult to understand that, but as a matter of fact, it was his bigger brother who tried to pronounce Christopher as a two-year-old baby. Um, for your jo son's job, um, how do you explain it in, uh, to, your, to, your, to your colleagues, to your friends? Um, I think this is much more easier than in France, I guess. No, it's a very good question, and I have, uh, this is, uh, especially with elderly people, how, when I, if I meet uh, old friends in my generation that, that I had for and never met in 10, 20, 30 years and say, hey, what about your kids, uh, what they are doing? Uh, it's, it's really tricky to, to describe, hey, it's playing computer, uh, 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 okay. nice, nice. Uh, they really don't understand. But the younger generation and that, in that case, I mean people around 35, 40 years, they understand this kind of business nowadays. It's rather common, but it's been so just for the last uh, three or four or five years. So it's, uh, it's coming, but it's very slow. I used to say that he's, he's in sports. Ah, what? Is he playing ice hockey? No. 
he is, is an e-sport gamer. Aha. Uh -huh. But then you can, uh, you can also answer. In my telephone, I also have a, a film for 90 seconds. That's... To show them. Yeah. Like from events and things like that from today. And they say, wow. Yeah, and not just uh, like uh, in his bedroom uh, playing alone. No, 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 yeah. no. Like we saw yeah. just today in, in a big arena. This, uh, this guy is standing there in the, in the audience speaking in, in front of 5,000 or 10,000 people, etc. So, and playing for hundreds of thousands. So it's, uh, it's, uh, but it is, this is a very interesting question. Uh, when is, so to say, uh, accepted for, for to be an e-sporter as, uh, as a job? Uh, it, it, it takes time, but it's, it's been much better since the last years. Uh, when you're at home with, your, with Get Right, uh, do you watch games together? Absolutely. Absolutely. We, uh, in our home, we, we have been watching... Uh, I mean, when he, when he st lived at home, in our home, and he's still, it's still the same for him, he plays Counter-Strike, in his, so to say, own studio at home with his own computers and screens, etc., and practicing and training and things like that. But when it's off time, he's looking on, on the bigger screen, on the television screen, on games and matches all the time. So he is living and sleeping Counter Strike all, all, uh, all the time, more or less all the time of, of, of the day. And it's the same in our house, it's been the same. When our kids were growing up, they played and they watch the games and we and my wife, we see, I should say, we, we see all his matches. Wherever he is, we see all his matches in a, uh, in a bigger screen in our, in, in our house. So we follow, we follow him. Of course, we do. And uh, that's, why, uh, well, that's what uh, Shox's his father said to He's following him like a fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan, but his biggest fan is his mother, my wife. She's his really, really biggest fan. Um, so what's, I think that's our last question, but what is your second favorite team? Because I think the first one is on, is on your shirt. Uh, yeah, of course. It's, uh, I, I don't think I have a second team. I really don't know if I... I mean, if, you're, if you have a favorite football team, you, you go for that and you don't have a second team. But uh, no, I, I can't say that. I mean, if I say that, yes, I have some other Swedish teams, blah, blah, or, uh, or a French team, uh, no. No, I, 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 I can't say that. Uh, instead, I like players. Players, and uh, it doesn't matter which team they play in. So uh, I'm a little old school, and I, I like the old guys from the, the guys from today. I really like to see Tass and the guys from Poland. So, uh, so I'm, I'm, I don't have any favorite team except the, play, the team that uh, Christopher plays for. Okay. Um, so, could you explain where the nickname Get Right come from? Absolutely. Uh, I think he was around, uh, I mean, perhaps five years old. And all at that time, he was more or less playing e-sport e or playing games uh, on the computer at home. And he, he sat together with his elderly brother, who is five years older, and he was ten then. So Christopher was very small, and and, and uh, uh, the bigger brother Robin he played with his nickname, and they used uh, they used more or less the, they played the, the same the same games etc. So Christopher then asked, "Hey, I need I think I need a nickname," and Robin, the bigger the bigger uh, uh, brother, he said. Uh, yeah, you need a you, you need a nickname. You can't use my nickname. You need an own nickname. And at that second, at that moment, Robin, the older brother, he made a tr file transfer from the internet f from some other. It doesn't matter what it was. And the company who made this software file transfer uh, software is called Get Right. So he saw on the screen, take Get Right. So he said to Christopher, you can use Get Right. And uh, so the company Get Right is an American software company still around. 
It's a small company. As a matter of fact, I've been in contact with them. I tried to contact them several times, etc. It's a small company. There is uh, who's still still making this file transfer program, as far as I understand. So it's uh, it's a very nice story. Uh, he he is uh, he is baptized his nickname after a software company in the U.S. Mm. Thank you, Hans, and uh, good luck for your son tomorrow. Thanks, and good luck yourself. <laughs>